So uncomfortable. What did you read? It's complicated. I don't know how to tell you. I feel like I've gotten closer to the truth, but it's still not enough to get us out. Now we can only gain knowledge from Dawson. The person most likely to know the truth right now. Do you know what I'm thinking? You want me to read that monster's memory, don't you? Can't you? It's hard to find an opportunity and it's dangerous. But Mr. Toby... Yes, Mr. Toby can help me. He knows a lot. Um, Mr. Toby the plushie. Michelle didn't understand. I need to figure out a way back. Mr. Toby. What do I do? What did I do? Are you sure you want to leave? Yes. You let the cold flame burn your hand, feeling unbearable pain, but your hand remains unscattered. What are you doing? Moments later, you feel the surrounding air stagnate again. This way, I can constantly trigger the candle's mechanism, absorbing surrounding life force. Absorb life force? I combine Dawson mysticism knowledge to derive this conclusion. Eternal candle harms all to benefit the lamp. This phrase appeared in my mind. Mm. I need to take the candle back. You stay here. The sea is relatively safe. Think carefully. I'll come back, trust me. Right click to use the candle. Okay, so I need to right click to... Okay, got it. <gasps> but it affects me. Jesus. These candles give me too much information. I need to go back and ask Mr. Toby to explain. I need to go back in the house? For real? All right, we need to get back to that house. Great! After it took me so much, it blocked away. Then I'm gonna do this. This is gonna work. There you go. But it increases my thingy, which is not good. I hope Mr. Toby can help me. Now the house is fine. All right, uh, let's go to the Mr. Toby. Mr. Toby! <gasps> my plushy! No, no! <gasps> she killed my plushy. Oh my god. 99% honey, you are gonna die! Your consciousness leaves your body, but the pain hasn't ended. Spacious turbulence carries you to a colder deeper pipeline. <sighs> this got the monster, not my plushy. Finally! Finally! It's tough hunting for a qualified limb across so many pipelines. That idiot threw the offering into the surface pipeline, but now everything is gathered. Sing, new lamb. Silence. Hmm? Didn't... Did I make a mistake in my steps? You can feel a warm voice nearby telling you, do not respond. Sing, new lamb. Silence. What's happening? Hypnosis failed. Sing, new lamb. Nope. Who are you, Mr. Beast, to tell me who to, what should I do? I'm not your lamb. Okay. Where am I? How could this be? Damn it, damn it! Awakening. Uh. Oh, I watched the videos. <laughs> My head hurts. The voice is hides away. Final chapter! <gasps> We're gonna finally understand what's happening! She's Chris. She's the daughter of... Uh, could you ask who, who is she? She's Chris. She's the daughter of that police officer that we played as. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Dad? I can feel dead. Dad? Is that you, dead dad? I can't feel you. What should I do? Can I do this? Nope. Who's inside? You notice the cocoon trembling slightly. Mm, 
can I not touch it? I don't want to do this because I'm gonna like my sanity will be gone. He almost fell into that bean of light just now. You don't know what that means. Someone was here and opened it, opened the cocoon. I can feel Dawson inside. What do you mean? Dawson wasn't dead? Alright, let's see. Can we take something to <gasps> We are here! Oh! Oh, where Ed was! We are here! Wait, one of it... Wait, first of all, this is not where it should be. And also, did Ed escape? I already said that the only reason Mr. Beast is famous is because of the video concepts. It really nobody cares about Jimmy. Nope. Pretty much. I mean, the company and also the money. Because they are a company now, right? Fucking corporations. Alright. Someone was out. Someone was trying to get out and someone was already out. Who is out? Who's out? Is the girl out? <gasps> there is nothing here. I saw something moving down there. Hmm. That's... There's a sound. <gasps> what the fuck? Why are you running out? What do you mean? If you don't take responsibility at this moment, all the pipelines will be wasted. Who are you? The harvest day is coming. You must take your place as the new lamb now. Can you bear to let so many people sacrifice in vain? Come back with me. <gasps> Ed! Ed is not... It's good. Good job, Ed. I knew it. It was Ed. It's all bullshit. Ed, how did you... You are Mr. Ed. You know me. You are Officer Speck's daughter, right? He often talks about you. Who, who is he? Adams, my old friend. Adams, the mastermind who drove me out of university. Today he has a new identity, a bastard who fell into hell. He said I need to take responsibility. What does that mean? And what does he mean by the harvest day? Why seek knowledge that only give your troubles? But what, what if he's telling the truth? Hmm, the truth. I only know one truth, and that's my physical rev rev revulsion of his existence and his bullshit theories. I don't understand. Should I listen to him? Listen. Adams, through some means, I don't know, indirectly controls the entire Tama city. The fate of the city mirrors his own. What the fuck is happening? What was gained through sacrifice must eventually be maintained by sacrifice. Is that clear enough? Yep. Ed. About father. Is there still hope for my for my dad? Why did we manage to escape but he didn't? Our bodies aren't completely dead. In the sublevel pipelines, but your dad's situation is different. Face the reality, Chris. Papa is dead. About the truth of all this. What is going on? Do you know the truth? This is a lot. All that stuff about Harvest Day sacrifices is just one way to interpret the truth. All of this was unnecessary. The way you interpret things can change reality. I really don't want to use up my last bit of energy trying to explain this. Or just can't capture it. It's too late now. About our encounter. Why did we end up here? And my dad and that guy Dawson, they are also in the cave. Why us? Where did everyone else go? Where's mom? Maybe... It's because we all did the same thing. So what is it exactly? I don't know. Have you noticed, Chris? These past few months, we've only been hearing distressing news. So we turned reality into what we believed. Our assessment of fact is so fragile, easily shaped by anything. The moment the information release happens, we take it as truth and follow it up with analysis. The analysis and interpretation are hopeless and endless, aren't they? Each e event takes up, take, takes up a part of the newspaper. How many events can a newspaper cover and how much of it is the truth? No one will report the birds and leaves you see on a walk. 
No one will ever report each of your breaths. Yet, they are the, the truest, most precious things happening billions of times every moment. It's a complete man-made disaster. I don't want to think anymore, Chris. Let me just have a bit of peace at the end. At the end? What end? Whose end? Not my end. No, no, no. Not my end, honey. And where am I going? Can I go here? Nope. Alright, so... Oh, she can go here. The surrounding vines become fragile under the influence of the candle. The diameter of the entrance increases with your entry. <gasps> it's the brain. Did we just find it? Did we just find what we're looking for? This is the brain. In front of you is a lifeless unknown creature's body. Is it lifeless though? It, it exudes an indescribable, wonderful, and peaceful feeling like a solemn statue. Jesus. Can I do something about it? In a deeper pipeline, you are the eternal lamb. A bin of purple lies, the beginning of everything. The girl is what happened? You knew this day would come. You selfishly nurtured billions of sub, sub pipelines, but at some point the purple light begin to form negative energy lamenting. The lamenting shakes the statue. The mastermind behind this destructive project, Zot. Formless, omnipresent, Zot exists in the most distant places outside the pipeline system and is rooted in every being with it. A fluctuation of emotions, a tough may involve Zot. Zod feeds on lamenting and enjoys witnessing decay. When the pipeline produces enough lamenting, Zod begins to harvest. Wake up, Chris, ancient lamb. Your consciousness returns to Chris. The ancient lamb shows no sign of life, yet you can feel a higher than physical existence. About the truth of all of this. Eternal Lamb, what is the truth of this world? How did all this start and where is it going? There is no fixed truth, nor a fixed past, present and future. Every individual is creating their own reality. We all come from creation and we will also participate in creation. There is no secret. It's about being the Lulu or what? Is this all maliciously operated? Is my existence just for suffering? Good and evil are fictional standards, and the universe's intention is simply enough that you can't understand it. The reason material exists is part is that part of the uni universe is more inclined to choose existence. You can think that the universe has a tendency towards good. So how did this disaster came about? The statue shook from the lament. This so-called supernatural disaster is the aftermath of that lament. What exactly is it? Where does it come from? A lament is a result of negative creation. You can understand lament as pain. The pain can be materialized and informationalized. They can simulate each other, creating more pain. In your culture, the entity creating the lament is called Zot. But Zot is not something that exists outside of the individual. My brain is frying. What is, what is this? Simply put, Zot is usually yourselves. Every individual can be an, enti an entity creating the lament. Like the pain. About the eternal lamb. What are you? The eternal lamb lost its heart. With few sub-pipelines left, making you feel preca precarious. I was like you, a consciousness imprisoned in a body, once sacrificed as eternal lamb, but now I am omnipresent. As you see, I communicate without depending on the body's life force. Free from life and death rules. What is... Uh, are you eternal? Are you eternal? Yes and no, I can exist anytime or return to the void anytime. If you leave, will those pipeline collapse? My dead body will continue nurturing sub-pipelines until the last consciousness leaves. And the pipeline system will collapse. 
What happens after that? Varies by individual. Do people become like you after that? No, most of you can't. Will people enter an eternal unconsciousness blackness after that? Yes and no. Don't have any pessimistic imagination. The universe has its algorithm. Unsettled limiting creates negative creations until ripples cease. If you choose to keep making ripples, you'll sing forever. What is the meaning of life? Your existence fits my intent. My existence fits my creator's intent. You already live in meaning. No need to seek outside. That's nice. <laughs> Lack of this knowledge is a common shortcoming among you. Why am I here? You were assimilated by my frequency while unconscious. You can consider yourself kidnapped by madness corrosion. Your supernatural abilities, including heightened perception and pipeline jumping, result from this unnatural process. The mastermind? From my perspective, there is no fixed mastermind, but everyone is an accomplice, including yourself. This isn't easy to understand. The vast majority of you cannot escape Zot's control. What is Zot? An omnipresent negative trend. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a trend, guys. <laughs> Your vocabulary can describe Zot. Zot directs everything in distant dimension and highs in every brain. Negative thoughts are one from form of Zot existence. We already talked about this. Do we talk about the harvest day? What should I do? What should I do now? No one has to do anything. Every individual is free. Then how do I survive? I can give you, your, you an answer. Everyone cre creates their own reality. I only know the truth, but I can't predict the evolution of things. About parents. So, can you let me talk to my parents? If you are something like a soul, then surely you can. I can't. So, so-called souls are not what you think either. What? If you want to be with your parents, it means directly giving up your life. Oh, so the parents are actually dead. Giving up life, self-destruction -dis is the greatest negative creation. It does you no good. Don't accept it. It's there really no chance. Your lack of understanding of the truth. It's not what you imagine. The universe has its own laws of operation. No! I've endured so much pain. Oh, casa! <laughs> Dad! Mom! I once, like you, witnessed everything I loved fall into decline and was powerless to stop it. Witnessing the ignorant masses rush into one false game after another, sinking into plundering and sacrifice. People generally have a blind fear of death instead of cherishing the sureness of life, thus always living away from the truth. So have you, Chris. It's time for you to recognize the truth. Do I have to accept all the decay? No. What I mean is, you don't need to expect or pursue anything. All souls are connected. Your parents have always been with you. Every leaf is a tree. Every tree is, is the earth. My heart. Huh? My heart is near. Track the heart. You feel the ancient lamb removed heart. Now it's... <gasps> no, no, Mr. Ed. Ancient lamb, I wasn't completely dead in, in the last pipeline, right? How do I go back? The hunter is after me. It wants me to become the new lamb. I must survive in my pipeline that's also protecting your body, right? You can return by your will, I cannot interfere, but know this. Waking up in a dying body is extremely painful. If you die again, you are nearly eternally witness. The repetition of tragedies. With such slim chances of survival, I see no point in attempting this. This is not an attempt. I have decided I will survive. That was your last pipeline, Chris. Then this is the best time. All right, deep breath. Oh no. Huh? Your eternal or internal organs and bones are severely damaged. Unstable breathing will make you lose consciousness. Comparatively, that is more comfortable. You involuntarily let out a heart-wrenching scream, but quickly stifled it, fearing to attract the hunter. God damn it. Come on, wake up. Wake up, Chris. Wake up. I can't reach it. Do something. 
The eternal killer is not far, but your internal August and limbs are too damaged to move. Can you do this? Can you do this? Can I do this? You don't want to do this. If you resonate with an eternal killer, you generate a frequency that attracts the hunter. This is the last conduit. If you die now, you will fall into eternal darkness. Help. <gasps> Help me. Please. Read the memory. In one conduit, you are cursed, heard, agile, limb dread. Your frequency trash helped the ensuers eating, repulsing food. And compared to your relative and friends, no one lives more luxurious than anyone else. But you are relatively lucky. You haven't experienced being crushed by a terrible giant machine on the road, being eaten by flies and maggots. Your consciousness returned to, to now you are Chris. Convey information. You convey information to the red. Hey, I'll call you Mr. Manhole Cover. <laughs> Manhole Man? Manhole Cover. How about that? I'm good at naming, aren't I? Mr. Manhole Cover is very satisfied. Mr. Manhole Cover, do me a favor. No, that's not what I meant. This is a piece of the broken candle. Oh, even if just a small piece, you can feel the pain in your body quickly he healing. The surroundings become stagnant. You feel the red is not so scary. Let's save. No, save. Oh, okay, it works like that. Good. Let me take my teddy bear. Wait a minute, this is... This is what mom always told me to keep in my bed. <gasps> when you stop holding into illusion the power you naturally possess being to show. The light. We called the gun the light. And I have an X. Can I put it together? No. Now what? Go up. Nope. Okay, so we have an X. And stuff. What do I do with the X? What is this? The X finds block the way. Destroy. There you go. Now go up. <gasps> the bathroom. Is there someone here? No. Now what? Why why am I here? What do I do here? A small space to put things. Why? For what? Oh! Faucet. Open. Ah! You could have just opened it! Now what? She wants to make noise? I don't get it. A loud noise, yeah. Make more noise. Do you wanna put it here? Ah, oh, everything is ready, come on. Oh, we are loaded. We are gonna load it here. The eternal candle strongly resonate with you. Ah! Why did you broke that? <gasps> Resurrection taught me the deepest lessons. Salvation cannot be begged for. You have a gun. When I stopped my pursuit, I realized that I already possessed the strength to overcome everything within me. Welcome back, my savior. Right in the head, let's go! Good job. I am proud of you, Chris. Go escape from all of this. That was so cool! Good job, Chris! Good job! That was so good! We destroyed the mom. We did it, Joe! We destroyed the... The, the heart of... Oh! They're together now! Now we know why the people were missing! 
I can feel it, Michelle. You and Austin have both seen my mother, right? You still have my mother's photo, don't you? All right, you have the right to take the photo back. I was afraid it would upset you, so I didn't tell you. What is it? The photo seems to have gone through hundreds of years. Yellowed and brittled. As if it once had life. Oh. The game can be solved by clicking the hidden icon in the bottom right corner of the interface three times to gain enlightenment inside intuition spirit. This is a secret that can only be known after completing the game. Wow. Nice. Now you guys know. If you want to play it, you guys know. Wow. That was so good. So, wait. That means that those people were like from multiple universes and stuff and basically this girl chris like she she was missing from an universe because she was like traveled to she traveled to another universe or something like that because like the 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 professor and like the cops were like trying to find the missing kids and, like the missing person so basically they were they were like missing because they were they went to like other universe like other times and stuff was that it and like the monster was like the heart of that thingy that was that created that and the why would i do, still don't understand why people went like cray cray with that with that um with that purple thingy like i have so many questions like what was that how 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 did that corporation get the access to that purple thingy was that the the other professor and like they were like traveling to that place to get the purple thingy so then to use it on people to like control them what is that i do, i don't know it's mind mind blowing i liked it such a good game i'm still very um confused though i'm still very confused so that thing he said that chris was like like died in every other timelines right so that means this last timeline where the mother died was not actually like her timeline but was like a timeline from the future because that picture was like um very old looking right or the mother like came from another from another universe to, like this one right and like it was like hundreds of years ago because the mother understood the thingy with us i don't know man but so good so good 10 out of 10 that was candlelight lament give it a try for yourself because it was actually very enjoyable to to play but yeah that was great ready to continue the story i i just finished the story but thank you that was in the element so tedious goodbye